Hello and welcome to another video. Last time we had a quick guide to show you how to set up the smart socket. In this video we're going to show you more advanced settings. Keep in mind that this video applies to both the SHP1 and SHP2. Before starting the operation, please make sure that your mobile phone is connected to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and then make sure your mobile phone and device are connected to the same Wi-Fi environment. Also, please register and log into your account first on your Smart Life app. First, press the indicator light to enter the flash mode. Then use the quick mode to connect to the smart socket. For more in-depth information about how to set up easy mode, check out our previous video. Delete the device to connect the socket in another way. Long press the indicator light to enter the flash mode. Then use AP mode to reconnect the socket. Right here we're in the main interface of the app. In the lower bar there is a schedule button where you can schedule a time for the socket to function. There is also a countdown button in which you can set a time in which the socket will turn on or off. There's also a power statistics button. Only the sockets that have this function will have it appear in the app. There is also a device sharing function to share your own device to the user account that has already been registered to the app. Finally, the group setting function. Here, you can set the same type of product as a group for control. You also have the ability to name the socket whatever you like.
After you've done this, you click the menu, then you click Alexa devices, and then you choose add Alexa device. In this video, we have an echo dot, so you select echo dot. Then you choose whatever language you're using, and then you connect to Wi-Fi. You then long press the button until the ring on the Alexa turns orange. At this point, you need to go to your Wi-Fi to connect your Amazon Alexa to Wi-Fi and then return to the Alexa app after connecting. Then you select the Wi-Fi in the app this will require your Wi-Fi password and for you to wait a while. Afterwards, the page should appear that the connection is successful and you will choose a way you want to interact with the Alexa app. This doesn't affect our use, so we won't demonstrate this in the video. If you need Bluetooth connection, then you can connect directly to the Echo Dot through Bluetooth settings. First, you choose skills in the option bar. Once you're in the skills menu, you can then search for smart life in the search bar. Then you select the smart life skill and you enable that skill. Input your Smart Life username and password and move on to the next step. Input your Smart Life username and password and move on to the next step. You then have to enable permission to link your Alexa account to your Smart Life account. Tap Discover Devices in the Alexa app and add the Smart Socket. You can also discover devices on Smart Home in the settings or you can talk directly to your Alexa Echo to discover the device. We thank you for watching our video. We advise you to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button in order to keep up to date with our latest videos and content.